Medical marijuana being prescribed to help people with a variety of chronic diseases, but what about using it to help sick pets? Matt King talked to vets about that plan. She was in really bad shape. Antonio rescued his dog Coco a couple of years ago. If there was uh, something that could have been done with marijuana, I guess, I would have, uh, I would have probably done it. Antonio had never heard of medical marijuana for dogs until we told him about it. But like most pet owners, that he'd consider anything that might make Coco more comfortable. I think there are potential benefits to medical marijuana. Dr. Alana Redfern at Blue Pearl Veterinary Hospital in Forest Hills quickly points out the Food and Drug Administration has yet to approve medical marijuana for pets because no research has shown its effectivity. But Redfern also said she could at least imagine instances where some cannabis products might ease a pet's nausea, stimulate its appetite, or make it more comfortable while suffering from pain or joint conditions. Whether or not those products work and have the same benefits that we see in medical marijuana in humans, I think that that's to be determined. More than anything, when it comes to cannabis and pets, Dr. Redfern worries pet owners might feed their animals, medical or non-medical marijuana, intended for humans, which can be toxic for dogs. As human medical marijuana prescriptions have increased, so too have hospitalizations of pets who accidentally ingested it. I would absolutely not recommend that people give their medical marijuana to their pets. Right now, no vet in this country can write a medical marijuana prescription. Pet owners have to buy hemp-based pet products online or at a dispensary on their own. For sales, I'm Matt King. Uh -huh.